Good morning, Snippets. So, I've had a very- this is gonna be a one-shot video today because I've had a very dramatic day and I haven't had time to document it because I'm just gonna inform you on what happened. So, let me tell you a little story about today. So, as I told you yesterday, yeah, my roommate is now after me in paranoia, so that's been horrible and it's been driving me nuts all day. So, my roommate today, okay, so I've been pretty safe all day, like I felt, you know, I felt okay. And then after work, I was going to like mad dash it from my work to go eat dinner because I had a dinner, uh, I had a dinner meeting with uh, one of my Welcome Week students. And um, as I was walking over to dinner, I hear someone riding on their bike behind me and I turn around and it's him. And so of course, like I can't run, there's nowhere to run because he's on his bike. So I, I had, if, um, one of the rules of the game is that you can stun your opponent by catching them before they catch you, but you can only stun them once. So I wasted my stun on him, and so I was safe for 15 minutes, which gave me enough time to, instead of eating where I was going to, I grabbed to go from where I was supposed to be eating, and I like went into another building and I hid out. <laughs> and now I can't stun him again, so now I'm like super vulnerable. So like now, now I was paranoid before, now I'm like super paranoid. And especially more so because I know like a lot of people are trying to help him get me killed. Like I know of like at least three or four people that are trying to help him get me killed and it's like driving me nuts. So I'm like, I'm trusting no one, like I, I'm telling no one what I'm doing anymore. Like my class schedule, I mean he has my class schedule and my work schedule and there's nothing I can do about that. But all my other things that I have going on, I have on like a hidden calendar that no one knows about. I, I have, I'm not telling anyone what's going on anymore until this game is over. Uh, oh, it's just so stress. It's so stressful, guys. And my uh, my dinner meeting that I had, instead of having it in a dining hall, we I I, was, I texted her really fast. I was like, "Hey, grab to go and go to this building. I'll explain later." And so we go to this building and we were hiding out, like hiding behind a pillar, outside, uh, to, like eating in like the corner of this building, and it was just. Like, it, it got really, it's getting really ridiculous, guys. Like, it's only been two days. <laughs> There's still another week and long time left of this game. I just, I wanna win so bad! <laughs> so, I'm, I'm about to shift around, like, my whole schedule. Like, I'm, like, planning every moment around this, around my roommate's life, which is horrible. And, like, I'm planning, like, when I, basically, whenever I leave for the morning, I don't come back until I know I'll be safe, which is like super late at night. So I just, oh, it's, it's getting so crazy. Like I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna be like skipping meals to like hide out because I know he'll be waiting for me. Like I know he knows when I get off work, so he'll be waiting for me outside my office. So I have to just wait there until I think that he's left. And oh, it's gonna be so it's gonna be miserable, guys. I'm hopefully he doesn't watch this because then I'm screwed. But don't play this game. It ruins lives. So I need to plan more of what I'm gonna do to avoid this disaster. And I have to see the other thing is I have yet to kill a eliminate a person. And the because the person I'm after again, I think I told you like no one's ever heard of her. And my only lead is I know her sweet mate, but it does it hasn't been helping me much at all. So it's just. Brr. I'm getting nowhere in this game, and it's super stressful. So I need to go to bed, plan my next moment of attack. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow for at least another minute. Good night!